Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fandom Fights. I am your host, Tim Burkala, uh, bringing you a uh, debut singles match today. We have Thomas Eanes uh, debuting in singles, going up against Liam Horrigan. Uh, both these guys have not played in singles before, but Eanes we have seen over in teams with uh, Nazario as part of Fringe Benefits. Uh, so, But new to the singles realm, Liam, kind of a wild card, signed up to play the game. We don't know what he's good, what he's bad at. It's all going to be new and interesting. We don't know. Uh, so let's go talk to them right now and find out what they think about the match in the promos. And we're frozen. I'm muted. We're off to a great start. Yeah, uh, wild to think that Eans hasn't played yet in singles. I mean, he and Nazario tearing it up his friend benefits a team that can go toe-to-toe with any other contender in the team's division. We've seen that already. And Eanes has shown that he's a really well-routed fandom player. You know, we've seen him kick ass in singles. He's had a belt in, he's had a belt over in Warzone teams. Now he's got to take that success over to fandom. We're playing Liam today, we don't really know anything about Liam. That's the thing with wild cards. You're either, you're either, I mean, either way you're in for a treat because it's either going to be a great match or it's a rollover. Uh, so hopefully it's not. Hopefully we get a good match today uh look best luck to you liam uh Eans, i'm feeling like uh this is just another step on that road to uh success for you in fandom uh well hopefully like i mean like both of y'all said i'm no stranger to this community uh i've been playing fandom but it's a debut match uh i don't know try not to let that get in my mind while i'm playing and i'm just trying to have fun uh part of the kingsman Go out there and try to get a W. Absolutely. Man, let's play. Let's play. How you doing? I guess I'm on my own right now. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do tonight. I don't know if any of you can hear me, but I'm just here to have fun. I uh, love, uh, love the game and going to do what I can. And I mean, it's all about what you get on the wheel, right? It's. Do I get the questions that I know, or do I get a bunch of ones that I am just going to get hang up, hung up on? It's up to fate. So, going to go for it, going to have fun. Happy to be a part of it. All right. Uh, both players seem just happy to be here, and that's what I like to see. So, uh, we're going to get into it right away with round number one. It's going to work like this. There are going to be 10 questions from 10 random categories in the realm of fandom fights. Each question is worth one point a piece, unless, uh, or I'm sorry, I started going into round two territory there. Each question is worth one point a piece. If you get all 10 questions correct, you'll be issued a bonus question. Um, you have three repeats and one challenge rule for the entirety of the match. Gentlemen, do either of you have any questions as we get into the game? Good to go. Awesome. All right, let's do it. Uh, starting with question number one, which is in the category of Marvel. And the question is, in X-Men Days of Future Past, what is the side effect of the serum that Charles Xavier takes that allows him to walk? Uh, this is a good movie. Um, it is not my favorite X-Men universe film, but it's, it's, it's up there. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I got some mild issues with it overall, but for the most part, have a good time. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will start with Mr. Eames. Mutants you, uh, lose their ability slash powers. And uh, Liam. And uh, dampens his psychic abilities. We can accept both those am answers. Uh, so, one to one, as we get into the next question, which is in the category of Disney live action. Who plays Mac, the mall circus ringleader, in The One and Only Ivan? Uh, this is a movie that came out. And I saw it, and I had feelings about it, and now I'm here. And that's that's that. It's a movie that exists. This is not sponsored by Disney+. Plus. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Liam on this one. 
No clue. I did not. I didn't see that one. Uh, Eans. Neither did I. Shot in the dark. J.K. Simmons. Both incorrect. We were looking for Brian Cranston. All right. Your next question is in James Bond. Which James Bond film features the death of the Bond ally, Valentin Zukovsky? Valentine, Valentine Zukovsky, something like that. Scully's typing something backstage. He'll, he'll correct me. He knows this better than I do. Valentine Zukovsky. Thank you. Thank you, Scully. This is why I need to have you around more when Nick is not around to help me do it. Right? <laughs> Usually he's here to help me. Five, four, three, two, one. Heads down. We'll start with Eans. Tomorrow Never Die. And Liam. At Goldeneye. Both incorrect. We're looking for the world is not enough. Ah, it's the other one. But you had the right actor. You had the right Bond oh, actor. So. It sounded, that was Brosnan. I knew it. All right, guys. Your next question mm -hmm. is in Star Trek. In a Star Trek First Contact, which crew member goes on the outer hull of the Enterprise with Picard and Lieutenant Hawk to detach the dish? I think this is universally the best of the next generation films. Uh, I hope, I remember, the, hope I'm remembering this correctly. Yeah, it's it, it's it's a pretty good one. I I, I have to give it to uh, Nick Tuig, who likes these films a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. We will start with Liam. Is it four? And Eames. Worf. Worf is correct. So we stay tied two to two as we get into the next question, which is in the category of Pixar. In Finding Nemo, what type of sea creature do Marlin and Dory encounter above a trench? Uh, this movie slaps. It's very good. I saw it with my father in the theater, and uh, it was very, very uh, sentimental. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, we'll start with Eames. I said a sea lion. And Liam. I said an anglerfish. Both incorrect. We were looking for a jellyfish. I'll that one. I'm going to okay. switch pens, markers. Okay. No problem. Thinking of a different part of the movie. Indeed you were. Good, Thomas? Awesome. Okay, next question is in Disney animation. In Tangled, what does Flynn Rider do that ultimately causes Mother Gothel to die? Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but... Rapunzel has won 22 games of hide and seek against Pascal, and I want to jump off a bridge. <laughs> I'm glad that got laughs from both Scully and Maggie. And I know Nick is sitting somewhere going, so, <laughs> we, we can't live if we don't learn to laugh at ourselves. Five, four, three, two, one. Comes down. Let's start with uh, Liam on this one. Shot in the dark. He breaks her amulet. And Eans. Ah, it's, it starts a fire. Both incorrect. We were looking for cuts her hair. Cuts Rapunzel's hair. Should have thought of that. Uh, your next question is in DC. Regular DC. Where do Zod, Non, and Ursa First encounter human beings after escaping the Phantom Zone in Superman 2. Uh, I gotta say, this movie's overrated as well. Uh, not a big fan. Kind of makes me sad. Oh, yeah, Scully. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, maybe me and Scully should get a drink and, like, you know, discuss. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Five, four, 
three, two, one. Hands down. Let's start with Mr. Eans. I'm trying to show you that this does not want to write. Or Daily Planet. Trying okay. To uh, Liam. I, I'm trying to remember. Was it the moon? The moon is correct. That's cool. So Liam was, will take the lead for the first lead of the game. That was like Three something where it's like I, I thought I might have remembered it, but. And are you good on the pen front, Mr. The dark. Your pen's good? Okay. Should be. Uh, so yeah, anyway, yeah, the moon's correct. Liam is up three to two as we get into the next question, which is in YA dystopia. In The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2, how does President Alma Coyne die? <laughs> Scully's making me laugh a lot. Oh, boy. Um... Today, someone at work looked at me and said, I feel like every time I see you, you have Baby Yoda on your shirt. And I said, that's interesting, because I haven't worn this shirt in a long time. And the only other shirt I have with Baby Yoda on it doesn't fit anymore. So I was very confused. But I do like this one, because he's just precious. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's start with Liam. Remembering the right character, Katniss shoots her with an arrow. And Eames. Katniss shoots her with an arrow. Yes, we also would have accepted shot with a motherfucking arrow. Uh, that is correct. So each player getting a point um, as we get into the next question, which is in the category of scores and soundtracks. Who has composed the most scores for films in the Friday the 13th series? Um, these are movies that are interesting. I'm being asked a question. Oh, I don't care about that. Uh, yeah, these are movies. Maggie loves them. Loves them. Favorite series. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Pens down. Pens down, Liam. Uh, we're going to start with Thomas. And Liam. John Carpenter. Uh, incorrect. We're looking for Harry Manfredini. And the final question of round number one comes from the category of Worlds of DC. In Suicide Squad. Which member of the squad dies during the final battle with Enchantress? Uh, this movie's poo. Straight poo. Right out of the Baltimore. Not good at all. That one is a lot better. That is accurate. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. Uh, Liam, we'll start with you. Diablo. And Eames. Diablo. Diablo is correct. Uh, so mm -hmm. we end round number one, five to four in favor of Liam. As we get into round number two, here's how it's going to work. We're going to bring up the wheel from wheeldecide.com. <clears throat> Each player is going to have a chance to spin the wheel. If they like what they spin the first time, they can keep it. Or they can choose to spin again, but they have to keep whatever they spin the second time. Each question is going to be worth two points apiece unless you choose to go to multiple choice. Then it will be worth only one point. Uh, ceiling is available in round number two, so look out for that. All three of you have, or all two of you have all three repeats and your challenge. Uh, the categories on the wheel today are horror icons, Disney live action, YA dystopia, fandom Oscars, Star Wars, Worlds of DC, MCU and Mission Impossible. Uh, so, Liam, would you like to spin first or defer to Thomas? I'll I'll sit back. I'll defer. All right. So we'll bring in Mr. Ian or Mr. Scully. I am all over the place tonight. Uh, this is going to be Ian's spin at the wheel. And just a reminder: this wheel is brought to you by Amazon Pharmacy. Buy some drugs today. Uh, so we'll spin that wheel. Uh. And it lands on Disney live action. Would you like to keep it or spin again? Spin again. And you're muted, Thomas. 
I'm like Cody already. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think we should spin again. There's much more stuff for us on there. Yeah, spin again. All right, this is what you are stuck with. And it lands on MCU. Good stuff. Use those repeats if you have to. Again, if, if you're not sure, don't be afraid to take a multiple. You got this. All right, Eans, your first question in the category of MCU. In Captain Marvel, in what type of location do Nick Fury and Carol first conduct a test? To reveal to each other they are not scrolls. I'm going to need to hear multiple. All right, your multiple choice options are A, a video store, B, a bar, C, a diner, D, a records room. Gonna say records room. That is incorrect. Liam, chance for a one point steal. Your options again are A, a video store, B, a bar, C, a diner, D, a records room. A bar. Bar is correct for a one point steal. All right, Eans, your second question. In Spider Man Homecoming, when Ned and Peter watch Captain America's gym class video, Peter tells Ned that he did what to Cap? I'm not sure how to phrase it, but he took his shield. I know he fought him. Um, shit. That, that, that is correct. That's, okay. <laughs> that is correct, yeah. All right, your third question. Thor injures what part of Malekith's body right after his mother is killed in Thor the Dark World? Uh, let me get multiple. All right. Your options are A, arm, B, leg, C, chest, D, face. Give me a repeat of the whole thing. <clears throat> yeah. First repeat. Thor injures what part of Malekith's body right after his mother is killed in Thor the Dark World? And your options are A, arm, B, leg, C, chest, D, face. You say face? That is correct for one point. And the lead. Your fourth question. In Ant-Man... Scott gets Cassie a toy of what kind of animal for her birthday? It's so ugly. I don't know what the hell kind of animal it is. Though. I didn't think it was a real animal. Um, multiple choice. All right. Your options are A, bunny, B, penguin. C, dog, D, hippo. I guess it's a bunny. That is correct. And your final question, Mr. Eanes. Who plays Jane Foster in the MCU? Natalie Portman. That is correct for two points. So, Eans brings his total up to 10 uh, with the steal. Uh, Liam is at 6 as we bring back the wheel for Liam's spin. Liam, your first spin is a free spin because it landed on the MCU. 
So your first spin lands on horror icons. Would you like to keep it or spin again? Okay. I am I'm gonna i I'm gonna spin again. Okay. This is what you are stuck with. Let's see. And it lands on Mission Impossible. All right. All right, Liam, you are getting your questions in Mission Impossible. Are you ready? All right. Uh, your first question. In which Mission Impossible film does Ethan chase the villain to an elevator to which the villain then sees him hanging on the bottom? First Mission Impossible? That is incorrect. Means chance for a two point steal. Mission Impossible Fallout. That is correct for two points. All right, Liam, your second question. How many Mission Impossible films feature the character William Brandt? Choice. All right, your options are A, 1, B, 2, C, 3, D, 4. Remember to keep hands on I'm sorry, what was your answer? Two. That is correct for one point. Just remember to keep your hands up on screen. Yep, thank you. All right, your third question, Liam. In Mission Impossible, what city do Ethan and the team escape to after stealing the knock list from Langley? Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, London, B, Paris, C, Berlin, D, Prague. What's that? Prague. That is incorrect. Ian's chance for a one-point steal. Your options, again, are A, London, B, Paris, C, Berlin, D, Prague. I think it's London. That is correct for one point. It's my first Trigon with my first instinct. <laughs> All right, Liam, your fourth question. At the end of Mission Impossible 2... How does Naya almost kill herself to avoid the potential outbreak of Chimera? Let's go multiple choice again. All right, your options are A, shoots herself. B, walks off a cliff. C, drowns herself. D, jumps off a building. Shoots herself. That is incorrect. Ian's chance for a one-point steal. Your options again are A, shoots herself, B, walks off a cliff, C, drowns herself, D, jumps off a building. B, walks off a cliff. That is correct. <laughs> one point. Gotta learn to go with my All right. And Liam, your final question. What Bond actress plays Sabine Moreau in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol? All right, your options are A, Eva Green, B, Rosamund Pike, C, Naomi Harris, D, Leah Sado. Was it Rosamund Pike? That is incorrect. Ian's chance for a one-point steal. The options are A, Eva Green, B, Rosamund Pike, C, Naomi Harris, D, Leah Sado. D, Leah Sado. That is correct for another one-point steal. So at the end of round number two, I have Eans in the lead with 15 uh, to Liam's seven. So anything can happen as we get into round number three. Here's how it's going to work. It's the betting round. I'm going to say a category. The players are then going to have to decide whether they want to bet zero, one, or two on the question. If they get the question right, they will gain those points. If they get the question wrong, they will lose those points, and we will play – until someone is mathematically eliminated or the score reaches zero. Uh, so any questions from the players? 
Okay. The first category that you guys can bet points on is DC, regular DC. So uh, write down how many points you want to bet on your board, and then we will yeah, go from there. What you, doing? you want to, you want to play it safe with this one? Uh, okay, there's so four more you, questions. I know. There's if he, four hits, more he hits four in a row, I'm going to have to answer the last question. Or I can take yeah, a swing I, I mean, something that I know, which I'm comfortable with, like DC. I'm cool stuff. waiting. Yeah. Just play it safe. I mean, I might. I like DC, though. What if the rest of it's all animated? Just, hey, let's just play it safe for now. And if, and if he starts catching up, well, we'll deal with that if it gets there. I'll go minimal. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's get bets starting with Eans. We'll go one. All right, and Liam. Also one. Okay, here is your question. In what type of location does the penguin live and die beneath in the sewers in Batman Returns? Can you repeat that question? Yes, you can. In what type of location does the penguin live and die beneath in the sewers in Batman Returns? General answer, fine, or? Yes. Yeah, what type of location? I'm not looking for the name of a place, if that's what you mean. So. All right, I'm going to look for answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will start with means. I uh, just said a park. And Liam. Uh, graveyard. <clears throat> Both incorrect. Uh, we are looking for a zoo. A zoo. Uh, so the next uh, category that you guys can bet points on is going to be Marvel. Regular Marvel. All right. So now he needs to bet everything to to, to, to just tie you. Okay, so you missed, you missed the last one. So you're going to get a feel of how the questions are in, in this round. Mm -hmm. So I, I I would still suggest that that you that you play it safe. Okay. Okay. All right, we're good. All right, let's get bets starting with Liam. I'm gonna go to two. And Eans. This is zero. All right, here is your question. Which Marvel film features a villain who creates a SIM card that causes people to become extremely violent? get another repeat on that one. All right, that's Liam's second repeat. Which Marvel film features a villain who creates a SIM card that causes people to become extremely violent? Pens down. Uh, we are going to start with Ian, who bet zero. I got nothing. And Liam. I took a shot in the dark. Blade two. Uh, both incorrect. We were looking for Kingsman, the Secret Service. That's a Marvel? Uh, okay, that's what threw me off. All right. So uh, we move on to the next category, which is in horror icons. I know it's tempting, but... Just, just, just bet zero because it's out of reach. I missed the Kingsman question, and then you won't let me take horror. What the f is going on right now? You're, 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 you're. Pl we play to win the game, all right? We I'll, play to I'll win the game. Negative we got one. in the bag, so just you just got bet zero, and we're good. And we're good. Wait, what's my? What, I only got fourteen points. All right, let's uh, get bets starting with Liam. I'm gonna go one. All right, and uh, Eans. 
Easy, bro. All right, your question is, what is the specific profession of Sam Loomis in the Halloween franchise? Very tense right now, so I'm not saying a lot. This is hard when you're by yourself. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We are going to start with Ian to bet zero. Psychiatrist. And Liam. Psychiatrist. And your winner, Thomas. Eans. Uh, the correct answer was psychiatrist. So uh, Liam, although getting the point, uh, it is mathematically uh, uh, out of reach now at this point. So uh, yeah, good match. Uh, they were kind of, you know, back and forth in round number one. It was very close coming out of round one, but uh, I think Mission Impossible just kind of killed it for Liam, unfortunately. Um, it was It was looking like it was you know, going one way, but a bad wheel spin, like Liam said in his opening promo, can really do it. So uh, it was a great match nonetheless. Uh, we're going to start by talking to Liam. Uh, Liam, how are you feeling after your first match? Not bad, not bad. I mean, you're exactly correct on that. It's the, the Mission Impossible kind of got me there, which is it's funny. I That was one of the only categories that I did kind of take a look back at uh, before coming into this. Uh, but it was just kind of like, you know, several different questions in a row that I just didn't remember. And, you know, sometimes that makes all the difference. Absolutely. But uh, you still showed you got some knowledge today, especially some geek knowledge. Uh, I think you played really well. Um, so nothing to hang your head about too much. It is a debut match, but um, I think you did really, really great. It was a pleasure having you here today, sir. So thank you for being here. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again sometime soon. Definitely would love to. Thank yeah. you for having me. All right. We'll move over to Mr. Eans. Uh, Thomas, um, I know you pretty well, I'd like to think. And uh, I could tell by that last comment, probably not too happy with how this went, but a win is a win. And I actually think you played well. Um, you were able to pick up steals in a category that your opponent was clearly not excited about, showed some dominance there. How are we feeling about the match? Uh well, first of all, I heard I complain. Well, a couple people told me I complain when I win. I need to stop doing that. So I'm just – I didn't – round one didn't go the way I wanted it to. Uh, a lot of blind spots. Ironically, I mean, that's kind of why I do this. It's not like to be imposing or anything. It's to block out, like, everything else around me so I can just focus on the board and play. And it still didn't help. Um, but still – I had fun. I had a lot of fun in this match. I'm glad Thomas was able to show up and manage me. And uh, best of luck to Liam in the future. But, you know, today just wasn't his day. Yeah, Scully, anything you want to say? Yeah, I think this was a pretty good debut for, for Ian. You know, there's some things we got to work on. Well, you know, we're kind of riding on this game a little bit more, uh, boosting that round one score. Um, but, you know, in, in your debut, you learn a lot of lessons about yourself. We know that Eans, you know, probably should take this a, a look at MCU again, you know, turn those one pointers into two pointers. But hey, he knows Mission Impossible really well, and that's what won him the game, getting all those steals in round two. Um, and then you learn a lot about betting. You know, sometimes there's a category you really, really like, and then you think you, you should maybe bet zero when you want to bet two. Uh, but those are, the, those are the hard lessons that you got to face. Um, so, yeah, but I feel good. We're going to get him back at it. He and Azario are still going to kick ass uh, as fringe benefits. So I'm excited for what's next for Eans. Yeah. Uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, Eans, we won't see you in singles again until next season now at this point. Uh, but is there anybody that you would want to play when you uh, come back? Um, Do you want to play Nazario? Sure. Or no, I'm, just kidding. I'm not convince actually Matt, offering convince, that. As a convince Matt to play singles and then – I'd like to play against Matt. There we go. We could. I that would be awesome. So if, if we could make that happen, I'd love that. But uh, congrats on the first win tonight. Uh, I think you played uh, really well. Uh, it was great having you guys. We'll see you guys next time. 
But uh, that's going to do it for us tonight at Fandom Fights. Uh, so thank you to Liam and Thomas and the other Thomas uh, for being here. Uh, it was a great match. We'll see you guys real soon with another great one. Until then, I've been Tim. Thank you. See you next time. We are so glad you came. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye-bye. Remember, please discard all candy wrappers and popcorn containers in the nearest trash receptacle. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Are they all gone? Uh, is, is, there, is everybody gone? <laughs> huh? Good.